let's put some openings in this thing and do not mind about the reference because it's it's just showing us what's happening i think let's just even move it to the side so let's bring the reference thing uh, we can pick the drag tool this one is helping us to drag it on the side you can take it even further let's just pick a door here and this door should be about 2.5 to 550 so how do you place in a door in this thing so under design we have doors that are present here in archicad so if you pick a door here you just double click and you will go into this so here you pick the door which you want so looking at the reference which i'll put out here with this pure ref i am seeing that my door is a double leaf which is a sliding door perhaps because i do not think there's enough space for it to swing around here so let's pick a sliding door so when you come here in archicad they are different categories that of doors you can choose from so sliding door is one of them and when we choose sliding door we can see that we have transoms and we have also arches on those transoms so we can go down here and choose something which looks much like what we have and i think this sliding door 25 is much much closer and the default height is fine for what we are going to use it we can change the size of it to be around 2550 because that's what it's about to 550 for the width of the door so now let's go here in the settings sliding door settings in the settings is where you choose what it should look like and looking at my reference the default is fine because it's it has no grid and it looks just like that and we can pick the kind of handle that we want to put on on it so you can choose any of these which you deem fit i think it looked something like that and of course it's easy to also make your custom so you can make it but for the purposes of this video we are not going to do that and also by default we have some casings on this door so you can you know remove them because looking at the reference i do not have any casings it's just inset into the wall so be sure to remove those and also for purposes of representation go in openings opening lines and under 3d projection we can check that and uncheck the opening line so we don't have opening lines in 3d you see in a moment uh, why so let's place the door in here so how do you place the door just click on to the wall and specify where the door is going to open from i think the default is fine and there we are and looking at our reference we have some space left so about 50 or even less yeah i think it's about 25 millimeters thick uh, of gap left at the outside so this is pretty cool and i love it absolutely and looking at our reference the door almost starts at the beginning there so we can have it in that spot right there so let's look at what it looks like uh when we go to 3d and first of all you can see that it's not touching the ground sometimes you want it sometimes you don't want to so you can change that in the height here so seal height you can put in zero and let it touch the ground here so now we have something going on here cool and you can also change what these frames look like so if we go to the settings where we were which is going there by ctrl t we also have an option for model attributes and the kind of model attributes you want to go to are these ones not this one so model attributes and be sure to check here on the uniform door surfaces and then we can put in something like the black so you can choose any that you deem fit for what this case is going to look like for my case metal iron is going to do so when i say okay there you are we have a door which most likely resembles what we do have and as well looking at this i can see that these two doors probably are moving together so also in the door options you have some options to cho to change 
what type of door it is. So <clears throat> you can see that now we have two leaves, one sliding. So you can also say two, two sliding leaves. That is it. And when you say okay, you can see that now those two become sliding leaves. So definitely easy to go around and work with what we have. So for the windows, what's happening in the windows tool? So you pick a windows tool, which is here, and it's kind of the same process. You go in and look for a window, which looks like what you have. The default one here is fine. And for the kind of window that we want to do, it's about 700 by 700, I believe. We will try to check that. And how far is it from the ground? Of course, you check from here and you imagine if the person was sitting, was standing in here, perhaps, yeah, 1.7 would do for us. So the one meter here is going to be kind of enough for now. And it's it also has so many options that you can change and work with. But uh, for now, we're going to just try to keep it simple. You can go through and see the things that you might need to change. Let's also change its material here in model attributes, change it to metal iron. And then what type is it? So in window settings here, you can choose, perhaps I think this window is good to work as a top hang. So you can change to that. And also like we did before, things like opening lines, you can remove them in 3D. I like to do that, but it's not a must. You can leave them. And for this case, we do not have casings, which is good for us, I think. So let's say OK and just place that window. So looking at the reference, uh, the window is somewhere like here. Yeah, something like that. And I believe it should also have a C, a reveal on the wall core. So you can put in the reveal. I know maybe something like 50 millimeters to have something like that. So that is the the window so when we go here in 3d we should be able to see that window there perhaps it's not the size is not convincing you can always adjust it so i feel like it should be about 900 by 900 because it looks rectangular yeah that looks more like it so you can always either change the things the settings of the windows and and doors from around here or you can go to the settings by opening up the dialog box right there so it's pretty easy to do so for finally here we're going to add in some slabs so how do we add in slabs it's pretty easy just pick a slab from any of these places here and draw it around. So by default, we have some settings in the slabs, or we can go ahead and look at what they look like. Like we said before, this is for com for composite structures. So you can choose any of these or create your own. But for the purposes of this video, we're just going to control it from here and just say that perhaps we need it to be a small one, like 150 for a single step, uh, I imagine yeah because it, that's what it looks like and we can leave everything else and just say okay and come and place it in here just put it place it along the whole, the entire thing so when we come here there we are it's pretty easy and in order to make it look similar we can also put uh, this color if we go to settings by Control t the uh, around the ring here we can put in the material that we did choose floorboard or or one yeah there so this looks much like what we have in the reference so let's go into the next part where we would just roof the thing <laughs> 